everyone. Welcome back to the nursery. It's Misty with Kids to Cradles Nursery here. And today uh, I am doing a part of a series uh, that I've been doing all week on my channel uh, that we've been talking about where to find legit reborn sculpts as well as legit uh, silicone sculpts. Um, we've been talking in the community this week about stolen sculpts and copied sculpts and um, knockoff sculpts, whatever you want to call them. But um, on my channel this week, we're going over where you can buy legit doll sculpts. So today I'm skipping a little bit ahead of where I wanted to. Um, over the next two days, I wanted to discuss where to buy legit um, vinyl kits from and where you can shop that is safe to buy uh, vinyl reborns with legit artists and um, buying um, a reborn baby on a budget. I'm skipping ahead because it's cold out tonight. I wanna get my silicone doll baby Nathan changed out of his uh, Christmas pajamas. So this is little baby Nathan. If you haven't been watching my channel, he is the uh, Calamaro sculpt by Ina Volprich. And Ina Volprich, uh, her kits, her silicone doll kits, you can find them online with Baltic Baby. And some of her kits, like the Johnny kit that I am getting later on this year, uh, that kit can be found on McPherson's Arts and Crafts website. So... Uh, this little boy, I thought I would go ahead and do a video with him since I needed to change him. And I have a lot of viewers that request um, me to do changing videos with him. I don't do them very often with him on my channel because silicone is very different and more fragile than vinyl reborns. And you just want to be really careful when you're changing them. And I just, you don't want to change them as frequently as you do a vinyl reborn because you're trying to preserve their silicone and their paint. So this little boy, we're gonna do a discussion with, since we're talking about legit uh, silicone kits. So I'm gonna get him changed into a new little outfit. Like I said, it's getting kind of cold tonight and I've really been eager to uh, powder him. He's a little sticky and needs some powder. And um, I really want to get him changed into this outfit that I've never changed him into before. So I have a little Huggies diaper. It's one of the newborn snugglers. And I like these because they're soft, number one, for my silicone babies. But I also love that it has the umbilical cord area cut out because he does have the cutest little belly button that I love to see. Uh, I have a little passy clip here. It's like a little silicone passy clip. And I have this modified pacifier that matches his little outfit. It's blue with a little lion on it. And um, the Calamaro sculpt, he has an open mouth, as you can see. But he has a little tongue in the way. Um, so his mouth is open, and you can squeeze his little mouth. But he's got this beautiful, cute little tongue that touches the roof of his mouth. So he could take a full pacifier, I guess, if you wanted um his artist to modify that and cut it open you could if I felt safe doing that I might but I kind of like his little tongue there it's very cute it's kind of like the Saskia sculpt but instead I choose to modify pacifiers to fit him so um I just cut them in half I cut the nipple off of them just cut them halfway down and then I cut the sides so that it's flexible and and fits top and bottom over that little uh, tongue of his. So that's just how I modify his little pacifiers. I have a pair of little booties that are from Carter's, really cute little booties for the winter time. I have a onesie that came with his outfit. It matches his little outfit, it has a little pocket on it, just blue and white striped. And then I have this adorable um, little footless outfit for him with some little wooden buttons. It is newborn size and it is Carter's. It just has different little animals. It's like Heather Gray with um, little elephants and lions. It actually has little gators on it, which is perfect for Florida. <laughs> Super cute. So we're gonna change him into that while we talk about, um, <clears throat> like I said, 
you know, we're going to talk about silicone sculpts, but not everyone can afford silicones and I couldn't either at one point in time. So we're going to talk about, um, like I said, McPherson's Arts and Crafts, they sell partial silicones, which are silicone kits that are cheaper than full body. Nathan is a full body silicone, which means his whole body, um, even his torso is all silicone. Um, but they do sell partial silicones that are cheaper, that are just the limbs and the head with a cloth di uh, body. So that's a cheaper alternative if you're just starting out. Um, also, my very first silicone was, I believe, from Ashton Drake sells partial silicone dolls that run about 200, 250, I wanna say. I'm not sure, somewhere between 200 and $300. This was a while ago for me, but much, much cheaper than thousands of dollars. It's a little pricier than the regular dolls, of course, because it's silicone, but they are partial silicone. So, oh, look at this. He has a little onesie on that matches his outfit. So um, maybe I'll just keep him in that and not change his diaper and stuff yet. Maybe next time, because this actually matches his cute little outfit too. So <clears throat> we'll keep him in that. But Nathan is a full body silicone and you can buy partial silicones and some um, companies like Ashton Drake Galleries <clears throat> <clears throat> they um, are not dolls that are hand painted. They are still factory dolls. They're not art dolls that are hand painted, but you can still buy very cute. I bought a, an adorable um, partial silicone doll from them my very first time just to see if I liked um, the silicone and I loved it. I enjoyed it immensely. So that's an option, a cheaper alternative so that you're not buying knockoff um, silicone dolls from a company that starts with I or a company from China that starts with the letter V. They are sister companies and they do um, steal kits from our artists and sell knockoff um, silicone, which we don't even know what they're using, what kind of silicone. They say they're using platinum silicone. We don't know that for sure. We don't know what's in their dolls or if they're using anything toxic in their dolls, I have no idea. But um, Ashton Drake is a very good alternative or you can go on to McPherson's and buy a partial silicone um, doll kit and then have an artist paint it for you later if you want to. And a lot of artists out there, especially the silicone artists, their dolls are expensive and it's expensive to paint their dolls. They charge um, usually if you buy the kit, they can charge anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars just to paint it. Um, I'm sure that's out of a lot of people's price range. I know it was for me, um, when I first started, but they do have payment plans. They will let you, um, pay them throughout the year if you want to. And, um, then when you're paid up, you can send them your kit or, you know, have them paint it. So that is an option, uh, also, pre-loved babies, pre-loved um, silicone dolls are an option. I would only purchase on Reborns.com. I'm going to put it down here. Not Reborn Doll Shop. That's another China shop. You don't want to, you know, shop at Reborn Doll Shop. Um, just Reborns.com. Not Reborn Dolls. Not, you know, Reborn.com. Reborns with an S.com. I sell on there. Lots of artists uh, sell on there. It's a very well-run website and um, they don't tolerate knockoffs or fakes on there at all. Um, it's a very well-run site by a gentleman named David who has a lot of patience dealing with women <laughs> on there. And um, you can go on there and buy a pre-loved uh silicone doll, maybe buying a smaller doll, silicone doll, like a micro preemie or a preemie might be right for you at first to see if you like it because those tend to run a little bit cheaper. You might want to start off with a smaller silicone doll. So I'm just going to powder him a little bit as we go along. Uh, also, the second person that I purchased a silicone doll from uh, was uh an artist named Jennifer Schoenwalder. She has a legit 
silicone doll business called Silicone Snuggle Babies. You can find um, her shop on Etsy. You can find her on Facebook. You can find her on www.siliconesnugglebabies.com. I bought my first full body silicone doll from her. She has a artist friend who creates um, silicone doll kits and she has somebody else that pours the kits, the silicone kits, and she paints them. And these are a great um, option for somebody on a budget. She also has ethnic babies uh, on her site. And so <clears throat> these dolls are usually uh, under $1,000 or anywhere from a couple hundred dollars, depending on the kit you choose to buy, um, up to $1,000, I believe is the most expensive one. I'm not sure if she has offered drink and wet systems yet on her site, but she does offer um, babies with painted hair, I believe. I'm not sure about rooted hair. Mine was bald and I chose to root her hair later. That was baby Emma. You can see videos of baby Emma if you wanna check those out on my playlist. I have lots of videos of baby Emma um, before she got hair and after she got hair before I decided to sell her along with several other babies in my um, collection at the time because this was actually my dream baby, little Nathan. And um, he became available suddenly on Reborns.com. He became available up for adoption unexpectedly. And so I quickly sold her along with several vinyl dolls I had in my collection in order to pay for uh, baby Nathan. So... Um, so check out silicone snuggle babies. I will say they are not perfect in any way. They're not perfect. Um, silicone is not perfect anyway, but they do have little seams. Um, uh, her dolls do come with seams and a little pore spot on the head. Uh, so you are going to notice that whereas with uh, more expensive silicone kits you won't notice the seams a lot of times the artist will get rid of the seams for you they'll file it down if you feel comfortable doing that you can do that with her dolls but she does not do that she makes it very simple I do not know what kind of paint she uses uh, I know that she uses some kind of spray method and now that I'm learning more about silicone painting as an artist, I do not know if she uses a form of silicone paint. You will have to ask her. It comes with a certificate of authenticity. It has her name on it, the sculpting artist, the pouring artist. Um, the doll is very minimally done. It's not um, a silicone doll that has mottling or veining on it. She does blushing and creasing and like lips and you know the major areas like nipples and things like that the inside of the ears um she does do blushing on it it was a beautiful doll I loved her I very much enjoyed her her skill her silicone was very soft and squishy I adored that doll it was a perfect first doll for me she was a huge size she was, she was like 23 inches she was amazingly big it was the most expensive doll that she has on her site so um, it's because of her size. She was a very big doll, wore zero to three month clothes. Um, she was a big silicone, very heavy, nicely done. Like I said, I don't, I can't tell you what kind of paint that she uses. Good luck getting a hold of her and her telling you. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I was very new to silicone at the time. It, like I said, it was a first time buy from an actual silicone artist. And um, I was very new at it, didn't know really too, too much what I was doing. I just knew I was, I had researched her and talked to other people who had dolls by her. She actually, uh, somebody has a Facebook page, uh, Silicone Snuggle Babies fan page or something like that. And I had seen plenty of other people receive dolls from her on there. It's only her dolls, people who own her dolls. Um... And uh, they all raved about them. She did take a full pacifier 
Um, and like I said, she was beautiful. I rooted some gorgeous hair on her and she was a beautiful doll. I absolutely was thrilled with her. But uh, like I said, minimal painting. It is a form of spray painting, but it was really nicely done. I kind of liked it because uh, it was well blended and soft. It was like she used an air gun to paint the doll. Now that I'm more on the artist side of things, I'm going, huh, was that um, some kind of silicone paint? Was she able to do that? Or was she able to use a different kind of paint and seal it? I really did play with that doll a lot and very much enjoyed her and got my time with her. And I will say the paint lasted. None of her paint ever came off. There were no issues with her, no tears, no problems. Um, now with silicone, if you ever buy a silicone doll, don't expect it to be perfect. No silicone is perfect. And it's the same with vinyl dolls. Um, art is not perfect. There are flaws though, more flaws in silicone than there are in the vinyl um, sculpts that we have. So um, just be aware of that and that they're way more fragile than um, reborn dolls, your vinyl reborn dolls. Oh, he looks so cute in that, so sweet. So she is affordable. She does have dolls, which I love, uh, that are um, anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to up to, like I said, my doll was around, I think, I wanna say I paid, Eight fifty for the doll, but plus like tax and shipping and stuff, it ended up being nine hundred and some. Um, so, but it was a big, big, beautiful baby girl. It she was just adorable. I loved her. She wasn't like I said, wasn't painted perfect, wasn't poured perfect, wasn't a perfect silicone kit. But um, Jennifer has found some very ingenuitive ways of creating dolls and making them a little more affordable. Like she doesn't do a big huge box opening. She works with the sculpting artists. They're doing this together where one is sculpting, one is pouring, one is painting. Um, so they're able to work together and they only work with each other and they're able to make a more affordable doll. And like I said, she doesn't take off the seams or the pore spots. I don't think she does drink in wet. I'm not sure. She was changing things up as the years were going on. She used to not offer hair. She now does. I don't know if she does rooting. It was painted hair last time I looked. But it is an option if it's your first silicone baby. That's how I started out. So you may want to start with an Ashton Drake baby first with a cloth body until you get the hang of maybe changing a silicone doll and learning how to be a little more gentle with putting their clothes on because it can be very difficult. I make it look pretty easy on my videos, but I'm used to it by now. It takes practice. And um, come here, baby Nathan. He's so heavy. It is hard to hold him up to do his hair. His hair is a mess. So this is the problem with rooted hair, folks. Anytime you set them down or put them in a car seat, I mean, or change their clothes or anything, you're going to end up with a, a head full of messy hair, um, knotted and tangled and um, frizzy hair. So I need to get his little brush wet so I can comb his hair a little bit better. I always spray the brush versus his hair. So I don't get him all soaked. But um, those are some good places to go. Reborns.com, I noticed they don't have a ton to choose from at all times. You know, different people are listing their dolls for sale at different times. So you just have to keep checking back and that can take a while. Um, but definitely go check out Reborns.com for a pre-loved baby. They even have new silicone babies on there as well. Um, but they can be pricey. They can be anywhere from $1,500 to $5,000 on there. Um, there might be somebody selling a mini silicone or a preemie or micro preemie. I've seen people, um, they get desperate for money and just never know when you might hit the jackpot on there. 
um, <clears throat> his Nathan's owner um, listed him for a very good price because she was looking to get engaged and pay for a wedding. So she, um, I originally had seen this baby on Kat Johnson's site when she was creating him, but he was made as a custom for a different mom who sold him on Reborns.com and mommy number two put him up for adoption um, for a very great price for about $1,500 less than what he originally was new um, because she was looking to pay for her wedding and was probably planning on having a real child quite soon and wanted to get that going. So she was probably willing to give up her little silicone baby here. But um, so at least that's what she told me. So I got him for a, a steal of a deal. I really, I really do think I got him for a really great price. Um, I knew what Kat Johnson was charging for him brand new. And so um, mommy number two, I believe rooted him with this beautiful silky blonde hair, which I absolutely love. And um, you can find good deals out there, but I would only pay, like I said, through PayPal. And I would only go through a legit company like Ashton Drake Galleries or go through a legit artist like um, Jen Schoenwalder with Silicone Snuggle Babies or go on Reborns.com and buy from an artist. Or if you're looking to buy new, um, Kat Johnson does have openings this coming year. I believe she's booked out through April. That was as soon as I was able to book her. I paid ahead of time in advance, but she does have payment plans. You can find Kat Johnson with Cat Creations on Facebook. And I hope that helped some people figure out um, how they can get a little silicone baby. If you're looking to own a silicone baby doll, um, like I said, there's lots of artists out there that do silicone that are willing to take a payment plan, do whatever kit that you like that you're interested in, or they may have some that are already pre-made, but they will still do a payment plan with you and break up those payments over. Most of them have like a six month plan. So if you're wanting to break up some payments, if you think you can afford that over a six month period of time, um, go for it. Otherwise, in order to, um, I know sometimes when you want something, you want it now. I would say, like I said, do what I did. I started off with uh, Ashton Drake, and that helped quench my need for a silicone for a little while. But then I was like, I want full body and went with silicone snuggle babies and then eventually ended up um, landing this baby. I was I was trying to go through Kat um, and buy a doll through her, but still ended up scoring one of her babies pre-loved. Um, this was the baby I had originally wanted from her anyway, uh, but was not for sale. She was doing it as a custom, like I said, and I fell in love with him and was just so sad he wasn't for sale at the time. So I hope this helps um, you all and gives you a, a little bit of ideas of different things you can do if you have goals for this year for your collection. I know I do. I started making goals um, early December and started making plans to achieve those goals by selling a lot of dolls in my collection to get um, another silicone baby from directly from Kat Johnson. So um, as you all know, I'm getting the Johnny kit and Kat is painting her for me. I am going to be dabbling in silicone this year. A lot of people have asked me that question and the answer is yes. I will be practicing on some um, <clears throat> smaller, cheaper kits, and I will be keeping those babies as practice babies. But um, I will be dabbling in silicone probably this year because I just really want to learn the art. Not mm, for, you know, selling purposes, but mostly just because I want to see if I can do it. It's for me. Um, it is strictly at this point just a skill I want to learn in case I ever need to uh, repair or do touch-ups on my own babies because I will be owning two this year. But hopefully if I really like it, if I enjoy the, the art and I um, eventually things um, become more financially stable with everything that's going on in the world, um, I will be able to hopefully eventually invest in some really nice kits and 
uh, work on those for you guys and hopefully be able to sell those in the future. So um, it is something, it is a goal that I'm working on. So eventually you will be able to get cute silicone dolls, hopefully from me, if I enjoy doing it. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of those beautiful babies, whether they're vinyl or silicone babies. And we will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.